Yo, this is Jimmy, you know, your favorite loop station artist. <laughs> and welcome to 10 steps to set up your RC505 MK2 loop station. All right, so step one, when you get your loop station, you have to go on the boss website and update it. There is a link in the description. You can follow the steps to install the update very easily. And after that, you're ready to go. Step two, the effects. On the Mark II, you have four input effects as well as four track effects. To activate them, you just have to press any button. To see the effect and change it, you have to press the edit button. As you can see, I'm on the reverb. If I want to change the effect, I just have to rotate this knob and I can activate the effect again mm. and it works perfectly. Now there is another way to switch effect which is by holding the edit button and choosing the effect. There is a new feature on the Mark II which allows you to switch between effect banks. There is multiple ways to do that. One of them is to hold the edit button 2 seconds and then you can switch bank A, B, C or D. You can also double tap and switch bank. Step 3, the microphone. If you have a microphone like mine, which requires phantom power, here is how to switch it on. You open the menu, the input, the setup, and here you can switch on the phantom power. If you want to change the level of your microphone, you just press enter, and here you can see the mixer with every input. An important thing of the microphone is to change the threshold. You can find that in the menu, input, and dynamics. You can find compression and NS threshold. Step 4, the master reverb. For the master reverb you have to open the menu, go on output and master effects. Here you can add some master reverb, don't add too much, otherwise it will get bad. For me a good amount is 3. Step 5, the quick clear. Open the menu, go on the second page, find control function, preference, and here you can enable quick clear and also all clear. That will allow you to clear tracks quicker. Instead of holding the stop button for 2 seconds, you can now just double tap it. The all clear function makes it so that when you hold the all start button, it will then clear every tracks. Step 6, the USB recording. Open the menu, get on the second page and open the USB tab. Here you can toggle the audio mode to vendor so that your PC will receive multiple outputs. Step 7, overdub and auto rack. Click on loop. Rec, and here you can enable Rec Play to Rec Dubs, so that when you record a track, it will then overdub instead of just playing it. The Auto Rec could be useful if you want to start a track when you're far from your loop station. If you switch it on and press the track, it will only start recording once there is a sound. Step 8, Multi and Single Effects. To switch between Multi and Single Effects, you go in Loop, Second Page, you choose input or track effects, whatever you want. Go on the second page, and here, multi, you can switch it to single. So that when you press an effect, it will disable the previous one and have only one at a time. It could be useful in some situations. Step 9, the metronome. You want the metronome to be only in your ears and not in the main output, where everyone can hear it from the speakers. For that, open the menu, go in the output, routing, input rhythm. Here you can enable or disable everything. For example, here we are on the main category. We can disable the rhythm. If we go here on the sub 1, we can do the same. As well as sub 2. Here we want to enable phone's rhythm. To have the sound of a proper metronome, I go here in the edit button and change the genre to guide. And finally, step 10, rename and save the preset. To rename a preset, you open the loop menu, go right, and click name. Choose whatever name you want. Perfect. This is now the name of my preset. To save that, I click edit and enter at the same time. It will open this tab. I can either write or clear this preset. I'm gonna write, and here I can still choose on which memory I want to save it. I press enter and save it on memory 99. I don't want that. Alright, and this is the end of the video now. If you disagree with anything I've said, or if you want to add something useful to it, 
please say what you have to say in the comment section. If you have any question, feel free to ask me on Instagram, Discord or in the comment section. I will try to answer all of them. And for next week, I will do a video that goes in depth into all the settings of the loop station. Hope you find this video interesting. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.